Hello, it's Andrea. So summer is almost here finally, and a lot of us might be a little bored with our rooms. Maybe you want to liven things up for a change, but redecorating can be really expensive. So before you break the bank, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own colorful, bright DIY decorations for the summer. I'm going to show you guys five of them, and they're all seriously cheap to make. So let's get started with the first one. I'm making this super summery pineapple canvas wall art, and canvas wall art can be so expensive in the stores, but you can make yours for super cheap all you need is just a blank canvas I got mine at the craft store for like two for like ten bucks it was really really cheap and then you need some craft paint to paint your background color I chose this bright what is that teal turquoise I don't know I'm not really good with my blues paint the entire canvas one color afterwards just print out a pineapple <laughs> print out a pineapple and cut it out as precise as possible now the rest is so simple. All you want to do is take your cut out pineapple, you want to take some craft glue, and you want to glue your pineapple onto the center of your canvas, and obviously your canvas should be dry. <laughs> and then afterwards, you want to take your craft glue and you want to cover your pineapple completely with it, and then you also want to cover the rest of your canvas completely. Try to do it separately, because sometimes the pineapple or whatever you printed out could bleed onto the canvas so try to do it as separate as possible but make sure the entire thing is covered and then just let it dry for a few hours and it'll come out with this really nice pretty glossy coat and almost look like a painting my sister literally thought that i painted this and i was like got him i did not paint it i printed it out so afterwards just hang it up put it on your shelf whatever you want to do all right the next project so this one was inspired by a picture that I once saw at Urban Outfitters and it was kind of, it's like $30, but you can make it for almost free. All you need is an old picture frame from home or the thrift store for like a dollar. And then you want to just print out a bright colorful pattern. And then you want to print out this deer head outline or a different outline. It's totally up to you. It can be anything. And then cut it out on top of the pattern so that you have this pattern deer head shape. And then I actually painted my old frame white and then I let it dry. I took and I glued my deer head on top of a piece of white construction paper, put it in the frame, and then boom, I was all done. I had a little life for my nightstand. Okay, so the next one, these are so cute. It's these really cute DIY jewelry dishes, or it can really hold anything if you want, that I've seen everywhere online, and I had to make some for me and my sister because they're just so freaking cute. Anyways, all you wanna do is get some baked clay. You can make anything with this clay, actually. You wanna roll the colors of your choice into strips like this, and then you wanna twist them together, and the more you twist, the more marbly your plate or bowl. <laughs> Sure, whatever is going to turn out when you're finished and then after you twist you want to go ahead and roll it into a ball and then get something to flatten out your ball like a pancake oh, I'm hungry and then make your pancake into a perfect circle so just cut out the excess put a shape on top and then cut out the excess then you want to take your perfect circle and you want to put it either inside or on top of a bake safe bowl and then you wanna put it into the oven for however long the clay tells you to on that brand. It's usually like 15 minutes. Put it in, bake it afterwards, take it out, let it cool, and then remove it. Another way to do it is instead of putting it on top of a dish, you can just fold in a bunch of the edges like so to make it all like wavy and frilly looking. Do the same thing, bake it for as long as it says, and then take it out and it'll be all hard and ready for your jewelry. But if you wanna spice it up like I've seen in a bunch of pictures, just go ahead and take like a gold marker or a gold craft paint and then just go right around the edges and it'll make your jewelry dish look all cute and elegant and fancy and you can give it as gifts you can keep them all for yourself like i did <laughs> it's up to you okay let's move on so these next decorations are these little watercolor looking flower vases just made by using the empty bottles in your kitchen so it can be empty soda bottle one of these are actually an empty hot sauce bottle I like my hot sauce. And all you wanna do is just remove the label and clean it out completely and then let it dry. Afterwards, you wanna get some white craft paint and paint two to three coats of it onto the bottle and then let that dry. Now, once your bottle is dry, you wanna get a container that you don't mind ruining because this will ruin it and you wanna fill it with water. Uh, make sure the container's big enough, by the way, that your bottle can kind of like get into. And then you want to get some bright colored nail polishes of your choice and just drop a little bit of both into the water like so. And then you want to take a toothpick and you want to run it along gently along the colors to get this swirly effect. 
And if the nail polish is not allowing you to do this, then you might wanna try a different brand. And you wanna go ahead and dip it into the container where your polish design is and then lift it out. And as you can see, it'll pull out the design with it. And you wanna repeat as much as you want until your bottle is covered the way that you like it. And then afterwards, once it was dry, I just put some matching, by the way, it dries almost immediately. But afterwards I put some matching flowers into each one of the bottles. I just felt like I liked how that looked, but you can do whatever you want um, in your bottle. And then I just put it out onto my shelf and onto my dresser and I had these cute little watercolor vases. What do you think? Okay. So this last and final one, these decorative tin candles that I've been seeing everywhere in stores are like between six to $10 and I really wanted to make some of my own and it's so easy. All basically that you need to do is get a empty tin can from your kitchen. It could be a can of corn, your Friskies can from your cat. Then you wanna get a really yummy smelling pillar candle. These are usually really cheap. I get mine from like Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They're like $2 each and they smell super yummy. So I went ahead and I melted it all the way down. Then after your candle is fully melted, you wanna go ahead and take the string out and you wanna pour just the wax alone into your empty tin can. And then afterwards, you wanna go ahead and add the string by taping the top part of the string to a pencil or a chopstick or something that will just kind of hang over the can like so. Then afterwards, you wanna go ahead and let your candle dry for at least a few hours just to make sure it is thoroughly 100% dry because if not, something bad might happen to you. Just joking, but you don't wanna ruin your candle. And also, I just wanna say really fast side note, if you have a really expensive candle jar, like a pretty one that you don't really wanna throw away, even though you burnt all the candle out of it, you can just do the exact same thing, replace the inside with wax, boom. You still have your pretty candle jar. But anyways, back to my tin ones. All you wanna do afterwards is just print out some nice summery patterns. I printed out a bunch of them. And then you wanna go ahead and measure it onto the specific can to make sure that it's gonna fit. Cut it out and then just tape the pattern around and boom, you have your cute summer decorative tin candles. And those are it for my summer decor ideas. If you guys like this video, then go ahead and thumbs it up. Comment down below which one is your favorite. And if you guys try any of them on your own, then tweet them to me at Andrea's Choice or Instagram them to me at Andrea's Choice. And I'll check them out and see how proud you guys have made me. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Bye.